Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I just wanted uh, to show you guys this uh, this pretty cool server that I've been playing on. Um, it is a modded server, as uh, as you probably can see. Um, from all the all the decor and stuff like that, I haven't got this like skin or anything like that. Uh, all the lights. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool server. Um, I work full time, uh, as probably most of you do, but I still want to play Rust, and and this is uh, the servers that I use because um, I don't get a lot of time in the evenings um, to, to game anymore. Um, being an adult sucks, so never grow up. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you uh, the base that one of my little photos have been taken with the amount of airdrops I've been getting. just want to show you some of the gear that I've got. Uh, pretty standard gear. Um, they skin the weapons for you in this game, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I've got a bunch of rugs underneath my tier 2 yeah so you've got some resources for meds and stuff like that as you can see like very modded you can stack quite easy okay and obviously stack your guns as well lovely m2 sitting there grenade launcher grenades cctv cameras that sort of thing um obviously abundance of ak's bowies We've got LR, a couple of airdrops, more AKs, Bolties, LMG. So I've been been doing quite a lot of events, as you can see the grenade launches. Boxes are a bit of a mess, so I do apologise. Do apologise for that. Uh, this is like my raid gear, as you can see, AKs, M2s. Been taking heli quite a lot, which is pretty fun. Um, need ladders in, in, in this uh, game because uh, when you go for raidable bases uh, around the map uh, a lot of loot is uh, is high up um, let's see if I can show you some at the moment so that's the train event which I, I really enjoy um, it's uh, I start off at the back and work my way forward there's a heli that uh, spawns around there as well it doesn't actually shoot you I think it's glitched um, until you shoot it so it's, a, it's an easy way to take heli from the trains. Um, there's always heli spawning on, on, on this map. As you can see, there's a couple of lock crates. There's a raidable base up here. Uh, obviously you've got normal monuments like cargo, oil. Um, I'm near satellite dish, near harbor, near dome, gas station, outpost is there, train yards there. Airfield is the only PVP area. Um, I, I didn't actually realise that, so I took a train yesterday and there was a, a two guys that um, sort of finished it off because um, I was more concentrating on the heli loot. Um, so they finished that off and as I was driving the train uh, track around here, it says warning you're in a PvP area and they were flying right behind me so they, they were looking to loot me but they uh, they couldn't do it. Um, also we've got backpacks in this, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. I store all my resources on here so if I die at any point I've, I've still got resources, I've got my AK. Um, a spare one obviously uh, all my resources look how much stone that is man it's crazy metal frags as well Just it, it stacks like obviously as you can see um, and it's just so handy to have this and I keep my, some of the ray gear in there as well just in case uh, my rockets don't do it which I think it would now that I've got over a thousand uh, some comps and stuff like that So this is my this is actually a, f a forward uh, forward operating base fob if you will. Yeah, there's a new skin that I bought, which is uh, which is very nice, pony themed. Okay, and yeah, so all, all this all this sort of skin gear. So this bit this. Uh, and this is uh, um, it's already in the game uh, which is pretty cool because I quite like this skin but it, it gives you extra be benefits or something like that I'm not quite sure how that works but there you go um, that's that give my body back okay right yeah so this is the forward operating base um, I use this as a bit of a role player base as well um, as you'll see oh a bit of lag there Jump, jump, 
Oh, you fat person. Come on. Get up, fatty. There you go. Right, okay, yeah, so we've got a little pool up here, and then we've got our big pool down here, tier 3. Uh, no one can destroy this, no one can raid me. Um, there is a raid option for NPCs to come and raid you, which is pretty cool. Um, that's my car base, which I'll show you in a second. So we've got a deck here. Lots of food, which is always nice. No one can take any of this. Um, it just it locks them out. I, I put locks on it because I'm paranoid. Um, obviously playing Rust. As you can see, a few more uh, L96s. A couple of Tommies, Bolties, that sort of thing. Uh, been mucking around with the water pistols, um, which was kind of fun. Let's have a look at my, uh, my car base. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the car base. As you can see, I got a couple of spawn points in there and in the beds as well. This is my heli base. Nothing really special. I won't show you upstairs or anything like that because it's just it's standard. I've got two lockers in there. It's my heli uh, equipment, my backup heli equipment. Um, if I need to roam real quick, I'll take that. Minus the uh, explosive ammo there. Random turret in there. I mean, I would set up turrets, but there's no point because they don't actually kill players. So there is that. There's a heli outside. So yeah, the uh, the train event's really good. Um, there's, as you can see, just so many grades on there. Um, I might go take that in a bit. Um, show you guys what's what. Uh, what else we got around us? A couple of upgrades, readable bases. We just got to watch out for that heli because he's a pain. Um, this is also cool. Uh, I figured it, this out the other day. So if you do this, it takes you into the shop. And you get like rewards uh, for playing the game, obviously, uh, and you can buy certain items in the game. Full role player mode, right there. I might get that barrel. Costumes and stuff like that. Um, this is a pretty good one. So you can actually spawn in your own heli. Uh, I think it drops about two crates. But if you sort of want to like a practice run, um, you can do. Um, and then you've got obviously easy heli, uh, a bit more difficult, and it goes up and up and up. And then they've got their own Hellfire heli, which I've seen uh, some people take. Uh, oh my God, it <laughs> it was annihilating their base. But um, they've also got a function on here um, where you, you can have you could switch it off if you want to um, but if you hit your uh, have your resources in your inventory you hit the wall um, and it repairs your base um, which is really useful especially when you're taking on like the more challenging helis got mass supply drop which I can't afford which I actually no, I can't afford um, and you got the sniper heli which is kind of interesting um, no rockets but it got snipers on it um, I haven't really done that one, but I will we'll give it a go at some point. Um, okay, let's go take... Uh, 
hell was going on over there? Oh, it's a lock crate. Right, that was a nice easy event. Normally there's like 20 of them. I think someone's like taking them out and then just gonna be bothered anymore. Right, That's it boys, line up boys, line up. Oh, <laughs> uh. 
Hey, go away! Is he going away? No. Take it, but I've got. Well, I've got loads of ammo, so I could take it. But I don't want to get rocketed while I'm here. Go away! Come on, please tag it. Oh, you don't want to screw it. Circling around. So annoying. Go away. At least crash into the other heli. Yeah. Fantastic. Look at that little guy. See what I mean? Bag right there. Dude really like cut it out.
Sit down, bitch. He's not shooting me. Jesus. Well, they fixed the heli. You don't like me getting too close to the front. What? The, f the actual hell. Of 
goddamn bear. How's how's he getting me through the floor? Yeah, another heli spawns in straight away. I'll take two. 